Good Tuesday evening and it's pretty stormy out there, but one thing that we can be thankful for is that all the severe warnings have expired, but we do have some flood advisories because it is still raining and we've still got lots of lightning west of Statesboro, actually Statesboro and west north of I-16. So let's go ahead and take a look at those advisories and I'll go area by area. And we'll put a query on this one right here in Southern Scriven County. And uh, we are looking at an aerial flood advisory until 945. So if you're driving along 21 or 17 or near the bypass, uh, just be careful. Uh, most of Bullock County is under that aerial flood advisory until, okay, good. I'm looking to see that we, where we are in boxes. Awesome. And that's until 915. How about this little guy right here, the darker green? Right on the northern wane, little little clip of uh, this is a flood warning. So let me zoom in here and see if anybody's really affected by this flood warning. So this is north of Odom. This is along 169 Madre Springs, just east of 121, outside of the Surrency area. I know people who live in McTeer and Zion, but this looks like it may just be. Okay, so Friendship Church Road, Courtney Road, Quinn, O'Quinn Loop, O'Quinn Road, Fred Carter Road, very, very specific in that location. And hopefully you guys don't have any washouts, okay? Let's go over here to the Denton area. So just southwest of Hazelhurst to West Green, we have an aerial flood advisory. And the Denton along 107 and 221, that is a warning. Uh, let's three inches of rain have already fallen. So let me just go radar estimated rainfall right on top of that. We'll do a query real quick to see if that matches up. Because sometimes our radar estimated rainfall is slightly off. I'll admit it. 2.4. So it's, it's underdoing it a little bit. So let me go ahead and say hey to everybody. Hello, hello. Woohoo! Look at all those people. Hello, Shirley. I may not be able to say hello to everybody, okay? Hello, Shelby, Lynn, Veronica, Christian, Steve, Patricia, Valerie, Lynn, Tracy, Michelle, uh, Christopher, Bonnie Sylva from Sylvania, Myesha, Shelby. All, uh, okay, I do have a question from Shelby and Al uh, Alma. I do have a question from Shelby and Alma. And let me go to the radar, okay? So you are hearing a lot of thunder and lightning but it's just to the north of you and it's actually dissipating. Do you see that? So that's good news there. Close, I have 10, I have 10, 10% uh, 10 battery life here. Sorry guys. Hey, 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 go dogs. <laughs> Vidalia. So let's go ahead and um, I will leave the pleasantries where we are and talk about some of these storms. So Vidalia, <clears throat> it is slowly going to track southwest out of the city. So these are slowly coming back. So for everybody joining us in Rinkin, this storm that was warned in Effingham County is really nicely raining itself out. All right, so this was in Scriven and northern Effingham. And somebody asked, is it going to make it to Rinkin? This storm kind of losing its punch in the Bullock County area, will travel from Stilson to Guyton, Marlow, maybe Meldrum, maybe Bloomingdale, maybe light showers in Rinkin, but nothing like earlier. And I did have a report of quarter-sized hail. It was the best hail report I got all day. Thank you so much for sharing that. I put it on my Facebook and on Twitter, and I made sure the National Weather Service no knows about it because the storm uh, produced some hail, and it was not warned in Effingham County. It was warned in Chatham along Port Wentworth, but it was on Hodgeville Road, and so that's right at Georgia 30 and Hodgeville. So that's, uh, I mean, is that really Rinkin? Listen, I know, I know your struggles. If you live in Guyton, do you really live in Guyton? I know your address probably says Guyton, but you probably live along 17 closer to Georgia 30. Am I right? Am I right? Oh my, it's headed to Sylvania. Um, Sylvania, actually, no, it's not. Take a look at this. Lee, Leah, Leah Weinberger, you are actually getting uh, a break from this action, okay? And notice 
Do you see that thin line heading upwards? That was an outflow boundary. We had an outflow boundary from the storms in Chatham, from that Warren storm. That sparked up the showers and storms from an outflow boundary there and some incoming storms, minor, if anything. I mean, really, they just exploded right around, oh, uh, I would say 8 o'clock. Let's talk about, let's pause this, okay, and I'll talk about uh, how much lightning is actually happening right now, minute by minute. So let's just do a whole big old chunk from Statesboro. Let's do it. Statesboro to Mount Vernon. Oh, that's rain rate. But the rain rate is good to know. That's um, about a quarter of an inch an hour. So even though it's probably rained a lot in your neck of the woods, there we go, 35 lightning strikes uh, within the Statesboro complex. And we have from Metter South, just west of Claxton, 48 lightning strikes. By Dahlia, you are getting a break. 46 lightning strikes south to Tomb Central and Reedsville. How about Hinesville? How about Hinesville? It's been pretty quiet. Well, it, you guys did get some rain, but let me just show you this loop, okay? Because um, let's do last hour and I'll put it on a loop. And you can see those storms slowly sliding to the southeast, but they are losing their, their punch, okay? So this may make it to Hinesville. Let me pause it here. And okay, that's at 10 miles an hour. I'm gonna change it to about 16 miles an hour, moving to the southeast, take it out of Claxton. I will track it to Hinesville for you. So if you do get any rain in Hinesville, it will be closer to say 10, 30, 11, okay? Hey, Jamie, hard rain in Hazelhurst, lots of lightning, yes. Yes and yes, Michael. So let's talk about Hazelhurst, my favorite little city. And so getting a break though, you're probably right now seeing some stuff to the north of you, uh, just along Lumber City. And I am keeping this, not Cobtown, but this little storm right here coming in from the west. If you live in Mount Vernon, this may make for more stormy weather for you, maybe in the next hour or so. Is it downtown Savannah going to get any rain? No, Kylo. Uh, this weather is crazy. Yeah, so outflow boundaries, outflow boundaries. You're going to hear us talking about that. So that's, um, and, and really, the severe weather later on, this uh, like 8 o'clock, fired up because of these outflow boundaries. And let me put, let me resume. So let's just say there was something in Waynesboro right now, and if it were heading toward that outflow boundary, you would get a just a massive updraft and then a large storm, and that's what happened. And then it just sat, but now they're slowly moving to the southeast. And really, if anything at this point, the lightning should be diminishing um, across this line of storms, okay? Uh, uh, no, not really. So this rain, if anything, let me put this on pause. Put this on pause. I'll take this rain out of that 67. And if it makes it to Savannah, it won't be until maybe 11, 12. And that would be as rain. Okay. That's what it looks like north of us. Hardest rain has passed, I believe. Yes, cool. I'm in NOLA, Christy. Uh, thunder is rolling in Springfield. Yeah, but it's rolling out. Um, you're probably, at this point in time, let me zoom into Springfield, dry right now. You're probably hearing it well to the west of you and to the north of you in Scriven County. But it was, I, I, I get it, it was raining. But you're hearing that stuff well west of the city. So, like I said, um, if let's track it into Pooler, okay? If it does make it, let's do this. And I'll take it faster. I'll put it at, okay? Just for you, Anita. If it is to rain in Pooler, it would be closer to 10 15, okay? 
thundering really loud in Statesboro and Lightning. So it is still pretty intense in the city, you are correct. But uh, I think the last time I checked when I did a query on this for the city, there's about 35 lightning strikes and now we're down to 25. So the storm is weakening, but I understand it kind of just, you know, when it keeps coming uh, the extended amount of time, it's like, all right, already, come on. So I get it, I get it. Uh, this may rain itself out. Yes, Carla, absolutely. I do believe so. Um, I was I was fully expecting the storm in Scriven and uh, northern Effingham to make it to Rinkin, but that doesn't seem to be the case. If anything, this right here would kind of come into Rinkin. I didn't pick up Rinkin here. This right here coming out of uh, East Bullock would be my best bet but like i said if it makes it okay love a summer storm all right christy is it raining in valdosta georgia i will oblige even though that's not our viewing area i have the power to do so here because i'm doing this by hand have i gone too far where's valdosta there you are no um i don't have that let me just make sure i have that radar on no, it's not raining of Valdosta. Will it be anything like the last storm, Tabitha Prentice? There's been so many storms. <laughs> you gotta be more specific. Tell me where you are and maybe that'll jog my memory like, oh, she's talking about that storm. Like if you said, hey, I live in Richmond Hill, is it gonna be like that storm? Like yesterday, I get you. No problem, Carla. You're welcome, Stacy. Tabitha, help me out. Hinesville, Hinesville, um, pretty, pretty tame, but take a look at this. We're going to track this for you. Oh, let me put this at 20. So if these storms continue to weaken, but still move to the southeast, Hinesville 10 to 11, the time frame. But like I said, the lightning is diminishing. It may be pretty bright. You may hear it coming and then all you get is maybe some I'll use the term gusty, but nothing like a severe storm. Maybe 20 mile per hour gusty winds as it makes its way through Glenville, Hinesville, and Jessup. Uh, da, 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 da. Where'd I get it? Where'd I get it? Did you come back? Did you come back? I don't know. She didn't. What about Hardyville? Good question. Thank you for joining in the low country. Do, do, do. Rain, light shower activity, rain. But nothing bad, nothing like this morning. I went through, Har actually it was pretty nice when I went through Hardyville. It was coming south on 95. I thought that Clint and I driving the storm chaser was gonna have to pull over. We saw a couple of car cars pull over. Could you tell me what time it's going to stop in Statesboro? Aha! Stacy Smith wants to know. Aha! So let me put this on a loop. Okay. So it continues, it continues, it continues. It's losing its steam, it's losing its steam, it's still raining. So it hasn't really moved. That area of showers and storms have it, hasn't really moved in Statesboro. So if I had to guess if it was going to rain itself out, let me put a let me put a, a cloud top on this, okay? Whoopsie daisies. Delete. Let me track this out. Not track it out. I'm going to put a, a cloud top on it. So that's 20,000 feet. <sighs> 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Nothing here yet. What's up, Renee? Prob around five to six earlier today in Port Wentworth. No, it's not going to be like that. No, no, it's just going to be rain, maybe some heavy wind. The lightning should be um, winding down at that point if it does make it to Port Wentworth. Cool. Sorry, Stacy. 45 minutes max. Okay, but yeah. Brunswick, you're <laughs> Brunswick doing well. I mean, normally I kind of joke that it's always Sylvania and Brunswick who get the worst of it. You're good. You're good for the rest of the night. This would be a very long trek to make it from Vidalia. And this isn't a line coming in. This is a line developed over that area. 
very strong storms. They're going to have to slowly weaken and rain themselves out as they move south. So I don't anticipate it making to Brunswick at all. Cool, cool? Yes. Oh, so the Hazelhurst storm. Oopsie daisies, hang on. Okay, so that ran itself out. You may get a brief glancing blow. You see that? I mean, if I had to take it southeast, I would take it right past the city and it doesn't even pick up on Hazelhurst. But you, I mean, and that's if you live right in the downtown area, okay? But this McRae, this area along 280 to McRae, let's time that out. So yeah, that's like 10 o'clock. Actually, make sure that gets a little faster. Let's put it at 25. Okay, let's just get you a bigger heads up. Yeah, 10 o'clock. Pembroke only had some lightning and some wind all day. I know, I know, right? Hello from McIntosh. Hi, Connie Popple. How are you? Long County looking good tonight. May get some rain. May hear the thunder and lightning. Maybe a nice show but nothing like what they have going on in the borough, south of Metter to Claxton, Cobbtown, Collins, Ponderosa, Tomb Central, Vidalia, Uvalda, Mount Vernon. <laughs> Does all of the Savannah weather come from the west? All right, a good question. Not necessarily, so this was not a cold, uh, we have a stationary front. Let me zoom out here. Let me go satellite and radar and you can definitely see what I'm talking about. Do I have a satellite and radar in here? Let's do sweeping radar, satellite, radar, go, go, team Jamie, go. Okay? All right, and I'm going to go to the wall. So, that's not what I want. <laughs> I'll draw on here. Um, does it all come from the west? So if basically we have a little ditty, a stationary front right there, okay? So the fact that our stationary front is just to the north of us, you get warm southwest winds. You get a moisture pool that kind of follows this line. And then I feel like I'm drawing a playbook here. And then those winds kind of bump up against this column of air here, which is actually dry air. Wow, I feel like I'm writing left-handed or something. Um, so we have two different air, opposing air masses, and it just kind of ba 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 boom. All right. So we did have some westerly winds firing up some showers. The sea breeze came in, okay, and that helped fire up earlier showers and storms. Then we had outflow boundaries, and that kind of got hit or um, kind of exploded over northern Effingham. And so it was a long explanation. However, they do not always come in from the west, okay? When you have a clear day, you have high pressure and control, a typical summer-like pattern, and this is not typical, okay? This ain't typical. Uh, the sea breeze will come in, fire up showers and storms, and they may meander back to the coast or they may fizzle out. But I, I saw some, I saw some uh, questions earlier saying like, it never makes it to the coast. Not true. Hey, no problem, Michael. Do you think we're going to get bad tornadoes this week? Um, not going to lie. The, there was some rotation in the Capitolo area of northern Effingham and Scriven counties. And it was weak, but it was still rotation that we were watching. Any severe thunderstorm is capable of producing an isolated tornado. Uh, we are not in any sort of, look, I'll, I'll show you the convective outlook for Tuesday. This is today's Tuesday. Uh, let's see, let's go to... See that? This is actually Wednesday, so I need to change that date on the banner, but this is for Wednesday. It doesn't even put us in a marginal risk, which would elevate our severe storm warnings. 
So this tells me that we're just supposed to have uh, regular afternoon thunderstorms, but they have been nothing but regular, right? Um, so I really think that it's because of the stalled out front and the sea breeze colliding with that. And that's why we've had stronger storms this week. Cool? All right, Glenda, thanks for watching. Yes, Jean. Uh, so Dee Dee, big lightning show in Hazelhurst, but coming back toward you, Jean. It is coming back. The rain will mostly come back to Hazelhurst um, in about 30 minutes, okay? All right, thanks for watching, Anita. David, thank you so much. Darian, Alicia, you're looking good. It would take pretty much all night to make it to Darien. So if you do get any rain, excuse me, let me put this back. So if you do get any rain in Darien, it would not be until maybe midnight. Okay, midnight. Cool, cool, cool. Do -do 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 -do. Statesboro got rain and lightning. All right, I think we're all good. Um, it just stinks that it's still raining and lightning in those same locations. But let me do a last quick check on our lightning count strike. So we started this Facebook Live 23 minutes ago. What? Woo! Jamie's got some lungs. Uh, with a 35, this is within the bypass, just outside the back bypass toward portal. 35, we went to 25, and now we're looking at 7. All right, so it is getting better. Yay! Yay, Statesboro. I used to live on Zatterauer. I know what it's like, and I had a, reeky, a leaky roof and root rat, uh, rat roof, roof rats. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for joining us, and if you have any other questions specifically, go ahead and go to my Facebook page. Uh, I, got a, I, got, I got some good hail, one good hail pick. Um, otherwise, it melted uh, by the time you probably saw it, but we had a quarter-sized hail on Hodgeville Road uh, just outside of the city of Brinken. I will see you guys at 11. In the meantime, stay dry. Have a cup of cocoa. Yeah, pretend like it's chilly outside. Good night.